Get excited! What's up, Utopians? It's Cernold here, and um, this video is actually going to be a little bit more different. It's not an update, it's not a video commentary, but it does have to do with video games, and especially if you play on a laptop. Alright, um, well, not playing on a laptop, but, you know, video editing, all that stuff, okay? So, I decided to sh I was doing some research yesterday, and I figured out how to make my computer a little bit faster. Now, I have an Acer quad-core computer. It's about maybe a year and a half old. Bought at Walmart for like a little under 500 bucks. Um, I don't like screen capture programs. They don't really work well with me. So I'm using an old phone of mine, which is what the glare is from. That's actually the light of the phone. Um... But it's really great quality camera, so as you can see right there, see, it's got 4 gigs of RAM, 3.48 gigs of usable, that's because it's going to the graphic card, it's 1.4 gigahertz, not impressively fast, but good enough for me. Okay, now I learned that the other day, that um, a while back, because I was having issues with my YouTube videos, and editing them, that it was taking forever, they were dropping, they were coming out right, they are just screwing up. Um, that it's a lot easier and a lot faster for your computer to save to an external hard drive. Basically, save the video to the external hard drive, and when you make the video, pull it from the external hard drive. That way, the computer isn't writing to this, writing and pulling from the same drive. It is actually writing from the external hard, pulling from the external hard drive and writing to your regular hard drive, which is what I have here. As you can see, I'm doing um, Assassin's Creed for my other video with Kai. Hi, Kai. Shout out to Kai. Um, and yes, that, that is my electric cigarette. I do, I do vape. I quit smoking months ago because of vaping. Um, don't listen to what you believe on the internet. I've done research and there's no proven side effects that nicotine is harmful to you unless you drink it. Yeah, you drink that, goodbye. Anyway, so don't be retarded, common sense. All right, this right here, as you can see, it's plugged in. It's my external hard drive. Now this cost me like about seven bucks on Amazon. What it is is it's a case with a bunch of circuitry inside, and it's got you put a laptop hard drive into it, you unscrew the piece, pull it out, put a laptop hard drive into it, plug it in, bam, you now have an external hard drive. Right now it's got 160 gigs in it, and this little doohickey right there, what I'm pointing to, is my four gig uh, flash drive. Now what I'm going to show you is I read online this doesn't particularly make it. A RAM stick, but for one red, it makes it it makes it so that the computer uses it for cash, um, adding to the processing of the computer. So it's kind of like an external RAM stick, but not an external RAM stick. If that makes any sense, if you want to look it up, just uh, looking for Ready Boost. But I'm going to show you right here anyway. Okay, so we're going to zoom in a little bit here. Sorry, sorry, I'll turn the light off. Um, sorry for the glare, guys. So we right click on the, the memory stick, we go down to properties, and then we come up, and we go over to ready boost. All right. Now what this does is it allocates a certain amount of met certain amount of the space to be used while this device is being used for system speed. The reserved space will not be available for storage space. Okay. So you need something that if you're going to be using a flash drive for this. Um, then your flash drive will be dedicated to that. There's no way of adding space to it, which is why I'm using my 4 gig flash drive because I barely use it for anything. And if I ever need to use it, I'll just format it and use it. But right now, basically, I have 3.72 gigs. Not even, because as you can see right here, I've got 5.93 I got 5, 5 megabytes free. But all that space is now allocated, allocated to helping my computer run faster. As you can see, it puts a small little thing called Ready Boost Cache right here. Um, let's zoom out a little bit so you can read it. See, Ready Boost Cache. Um, as I said, the reason why I'm using my phone camera is because um, screen programs seem to lag a hell of a lot more than my phone. Plus, I'm showing you stuff that's not in the computer. Um, so that's what that do, does. To make your external hard drive super fast look at my wallpaper she's so sexy um, to make it super fast is go into my computer no uh, control panel go to your control panel device manager or we can do it the hard way 
uh, well, slightly easier way, and just type in device manager, which is right there. So I don't have to fight with the phone to click on it. Click on device manager. All right. Wait for that to load. Go up to disk drives. Click on that. And right here where it says mesh device storage, which would be my external hard drive. We're going to click properties. We're going to go to policies and better performance. It enables writing cache to win in Windows, but you must use safely removable hardware notification icon to disconnect this device safely. So I didn't know that, but now I do, which basically means you got to come down over here and then right click on that. And it comes up and then you eject the USB device. Which, by the way, you should be doing at all times anyway, because sometimes you can, if you don't do it that way, you will corrupt files on your hard drive, and it'd be no different than turning your Xbox or PS3 off through the power supply. If you guys have noticed, the PS3 has a new system update. It's been out for a while now, and I actually enjoy it, is that if you disconnect your PS3 while it's running, it'll do a system restore or a system file check to make sure no files are corrupted. You also shouldn't be turning your computer off hard way either. You should let it shut down, no matter how long it takes, because then you can corrupt files and boot files and cause a lot more issues. Um, so yeah, that was about that. So what the, that does is it speeds up your your uh, hard drive, your external hard drive. So the importing, exporting of data is a lot faster. As you can see, Pinnacle is running smoothly. It load. Um, I'm not gonna tell you because I'm making the video right now, but it loads. A lot faster and when it comes to the videos a little bit of little, little tiny lag um, and then also with this here let's turn the light back on no, turn back on with that there your computer even loads a little bit faster too due to the due to the fact that it's processing the cache to the small USB instead of to the regular RAM uh, something else I wanted to tell you guys but I kind of forgot but that's pretty much about it. Well, look, I've got a message. All right, so stare at the wallpaper for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Anyway, leave me alone. But that's about it. So, all right, then.